All right, this is a topic on completing the square. If a quadratic expression of the form bx squared plus bx cannot be factored um, the way we've learned already into a perfect square, then we can do this thing called the completing the square. So it shows you here in this first box um, how to complete the square. So the first example here says we want to change the expression to a perfect square trinomial. So right now we have these two terms here and we want to take the bx term, so this term here, and we're going to go ahead and divide it in half. So we're going to take half of it. So half of 4 is 2. Then what you do is you square it. So squared gives you 4. So this will become x squared plus 4x plus 4. Let's do another one. So we take this bx term, we take half of negative 14. So half of negative 14 is negative 7. Then what we do is we square it. So negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. So now it makes it a perfect square trinomial. Here are the steps to completing the square. And we will follow them on the next set of examples. So you can go ahead and pause and read them. All right, so here's an example. And I have that box um, laid out for us with the steps that we will do. So here is our quadratic equation, and we want to complete the square to find out what x is. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite the equation one more time. Now step one is we want to make sure that we have this x squared and then the 12x on the left side and then equals and then the constant on the right and i'm just leaving a little place so again i just move that 12x to the left by undoing it then we're ready to complete the square so we take this bx term and we take half of it so half of negative 12 is negative 6. Then what we do is we square it. Negative 6 squared is 36. So we're changing it to a perfect square trinomial. So now I'm just going to write my equation again one more time. And now what we do is we take this 36 and we add it to both sides. Now we can go ahead and factor this. This is now a nice perfect square trinomial as x minus 6, x minus 6, or x minus 6 all squared. The right side, those terms combine to give you 16. So now we have it factored and we're ready to solve it using the square root property. So we can undo the x minus 6 all squared by square rooting both sides. And we are left with x minus 6 on the right, and then plus or minus 4 on the right. Then we will move that 6 to the right by adding 6 to both sides. Now we have two answers. We have the first one when we take 6 plus 4, which is 10, and then when we subtract 4, giving us 2. So our two answers are positive 2, and 10. Let's do another one. 
So here is our quadratic equation. And we need to move that bx term to the left. So x squared, we're going to move it, so we're going to add 6 to both sides. And then we still have the 27 on the right. And I always like to just leave a little space there. Now we're ready to complete the square. So we take that 6 and we take half of it. So half of 6 is 3. Then what we do is we square that number. So 3 squared is 9. And that's what we're going to add to both sides. So the original pink equation. And we're going to turn it into a perfect square trinomial. So now we add 9 to the left. We add 9 to the right to balance it out. Now we can factor it. So in factored form, we have a perfect square. So it's x plus 3 and x plus 3, which is a x plus 3 all squared. The right side, 27 plus 9, is 36. Now we can go ahead and apply the square root property. We square root both sides. We simplify. We're left with x plus 3 on the left and then plus or minus 6 on the right. Then we need to find out what x is, so we undo that plus 3. So we subtract 3 from both sides. Now we have two answers. The first answer is when we add 6, and the second one is when we subtract 6. So those answers are positive 3 and negative 9. So our two answers are negative 3 or negative 9 and positive 3.